of our online special story times. Because you can't come to the library, but we can come to you. I've got some special stories about one animal that lives on a farm. Now, can you see anything here that might give you a clue as to what the animal could be? Uh huh. What animal is this one? A pig. Yes. What sound does a pig make? Oink, oink. Can you make pig sounds? Oink, oink, oink. Let's see. Before we actually start our stories, let's make sure that our ears are switched on. So can you touch your ears? Can you give them a wiggle? Can you give them a jiggle? Can you touch them with your shoulders? Can you push your shoulders straight down? Can you touch them with your shoulders? And do some great big circles going forwards. Because this is so good for waking up your brain. Can you make your shoulders go the other way? Can you make them go backwards? Big circles going backwards. Let's see. If we can do that and we can count to five at the same time. Let's make them go forwards. Are you ready? One. Two, three, four, five. And remember, we're going to keep balance, so we're going to go backwards this time. Let's make it tricky. Let's count backwards as well. We start off with number five. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Let's see. I think you've woken up your brain. You've woken up your ears. And oh, I think you've woken up your shoulders as well. Can you flutter your fingers on your shoulders? Can you flutter them on your nose? Can you flutter them on your elbows? And make them go all the way down to your toes. Can you make your hands grow tall as a tree? And wide as a gate? And somersaults. Well done. Now let's see. Maybe you might know this song today. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Got to join in as well. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, wave hello. If you're happy and you know it, wave hello. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave hello. Now let's see, let's be make a pig sound. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, oink like a pig. <coughs> If you're happy and you know it, oink like a pig. If you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, oink like a pink. Oh, give yourselves a great big clap. Very good, join in. Now let's see, when you come to story time, you have to do lots of actions and lots of rhymes. We're gonna use our hands. Can you hold up your hand for me? They're not fingers anymore, they're little piggies. Can you wiggle them? It's time for my piggies to go to bed, the great big mother piggy said. So I'll count them first to see if all my piggies will come back to me. One little piggy, two little piggies, three little piggies dear, four little piggies, five little piggies. Yes, they're all here. Can you do that with me? We'll show it on our other hand. Time for these little piggies to go to bed, the great big mother piggy said. So if I count them first to see, oh, make sure my piggies come back to me. So we've got one little piggy, two little piggies, three little piggies dear, four little piggies, five little piggies. Yes, they're all here. Now, I've got another rhyme about some pigs. These pigs like to play in the mud. And we can do this rhyme and we can sing it to another tune. You might know this tune called Row, Row, Row Your Boat. But we're going to be pigs rolling in the mud. Can you make your pigs roll in the mud? 
Roll, roll, roll around in the mud all day. That's what pigs like to do. What a way to play. Roll, roll, roll around. That's the way they stay. Oh, so no, nice and cool on a sunny day. You can do lots of rhymes. You can change the words. You can do all sorts of things. But the best thing about story time is the stories. And I've got a very special one about a brave pig. Let's see, he's a bit shy. He's hiding behind my red board. Let's see if I can find him. Ooh, there's three stories here. But I found a brave pig. There he is. He's speaking to the cockerel. Be brave, pink piglet. This one's by Phil Cummings and the pictures are done by Sarah Davis. And if we open up the book on the inside, we can find out who publishes the book, who prints it and puts it all together. <gasps> Lothian Children's Books. Be brave, pink piglet. Okay, are you ready to listen? Here we go. Early one morning, Pink Piglet led his mother side. <gasps> he left his mother side for the very first time. Go exploring, she said. Be brave. <sighs> I'll try, said Pink Piglet. He wasn't feeling very brave at all. He trotted nervously across the farmyard. Woof! <gasps> Dog frightened him. <gasps> He trotted bravely across the farmyard until he scared a cow. Cock a doodle. He scared a rooster too. He frightened dog. But he didn't frighten his mum. She knew exactly who he was. My brave explorer. All clean and fresh, ready for another adventure. And that's the end of that story. Now let's do some more finger rhymes. Can you show me your fingers again? Remember, they're not fingers today, they're little piglets. And this little pig went to market. And this little pig stayed home. This little pig had roast beef. And this little pig had none. And this little pig went all the way home. Can you do that one more time? This little pig went to market. This little pig stayed home. This little pig had roast beef. And this little pig had none. And this little pig went all the way home. If you've got a baby brother or sister, that's a good thing that you can do. And you can do it on their toes as well. Maybe you could do it on your mum or your dad as well. See if you can do both hands and see if they giggle when they go all the way home. Let's see. Now I do have one more rhyme we can do before our story. Let's see which one shall we do. I found a new one, a very old one called Piggy on the Railway. 
piggy on the railway shouldn't be there. Along came an engine. Piggy, take care. Hey, said the driver, get off the track. Piggy ran away and never came back. Can you do those actions with me? <gasps> Can you be piggy on the railway? Shouldn't be there. Along comes the engine. <gasps> piggy, take care. Hey, said the driver, get off the track. So Piggy ran away and he never came back. Let's see, how about another story that I've got over here for you? Oh, this little pig. This little pig is quite a big pig actually and he's a very hot pig. A very hot pig and you know pigs don't like to go swimming. So on Nelligan's farm, happened one day. The pig in the pond. Martin Waddle wrote this one and illustrated by Jill Barton. And remember when we open it up we can find out who publishes the book. <gasps> Walker Books did this one. So are you ready? Sitting comfortably, ready to listen? Here we go. This is the story of Nelligan's pig. He say hello. One day, Nelligan went into town. It was very hot and it was very dry. The sun shone up in the sky and Nelligan's pig sat by Nelligan's pond. And the ducks, that's how the ducks make. Quack. And the geese went, honk. They were cool in the water of Nelligan's pond. But the pig sat in the sun. She looked at the pond. The ducks went quack. The geese went honk. And the pig went oink. She didn't go in because pigs don't swim. Well, the pig sat in the sun getting hotter and hotter. And the ducks went quack quack. And then the geese went honk honk. The pig went oink oink. She didn't go in because pigs don't swim. Well, the pig gulped and he gasped and he looked at the water and the ducks went quack, quack, quack. And the geese went honk, honk, honk. And the pig went oink, oink, oink. She rose from the ground. She turned around and around. She stomped on her trotters and she twirled her tail and <gasps> splash! She went in a pond. Splash! Splash, 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 splash. Oh, she had so much fun in the pond. The ducks and the geese, they were splashed out of the pond. And the ducks went quack, 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 quack. And the geese went honk, 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 honk. Which means very loudly, the pig's in the pond. 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 At Nelligan's farm. The pig's in the pond. From the fields all around, they came to see the pig in the pond at Nelligan's farm. And then, do you want to know what happens next? Nelligan came back on his cart. Uh-oh. Nelligan looked at the pig in the pond. The pig went oink. Nelligan took off his hat. Nelligan looked at the pig in the pond and the pig went oink oink. Nelligan took off his trousers and his boots. Nelligan looked at the pig in the pond and the pig went oink oink oink. Nelligan took off his shirt. Nelligan looked at the pig in the pond 
And the pig went oink, 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 oink. <gasps> Nelligan took off his pants and splash! Nelligan jumped into the pond. <gasps> what happened next? Can you guess? Do you want to know? Scan the page and find out. Sploosh! Everyone went into the pond and had the very best time. They all joined in with the pig in the pond. And that is the story of Nelligan's pig. The end. I've got another rhyme about some pigs. I think we're gonna do 10 pigs this time. Can you show, you, show me 10? And we're gonna sing about these little pigs with the tune of another rhyme that you might know. Ten little pigs rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy felt so good. The farmer took one little piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. Nine little pigs rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy felt so good. The farmer took one little piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. <gasps> Eight little pigs rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy, felt so good. The farmer took one little piggy out. <gasps> oink, 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 the pig did shout. <gasps> now we've got seven little pigs rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy, felt so good. The farmer took one little piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. <gasps> uh, no, how many have we got? We've got six. Six little pigs rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy, felt so good. The farmer took one little piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. Five little pigs rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy, felt so good. The farmer took one little piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. Four little pigs rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy, felt so good. The farmer took one little piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. Three little pigs rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy, felt so good. The farmer took one little piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. Two little pigs rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy, felt so good. The farmer took one little piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. One little pig rolled in the mud. Squishy, squashy, squishy, squashy, felt so good. One farmer took one little piggy out. Oink, 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 the pig did shout. No little pigs rolled in the mud. They all look so clean. Oh, and so good. The farmer turned his back. Oh, and then those little pigs rolled in the mud again. Had so much more fun. Now we've had 10 little pigs. Let's see if we can do one about eight little pigs. Can you show me eight? Four on this hand and four on this hand. Okay, starts off like this. Two mother pigs lived in a pen. Each had four babies, so that makes 10. These four babies were black and white, and these four babies were as black as night. All eight babies, they loved to play, and they rolled and they rolled in the mud all day. Can you do that one more time with me? Two mother pigs lived in a pen. Each had four babies. That makes 
10. These four babies were black and white. And these four babies were as black as night. All eight babies, they loved to play and they rolled and they rolled in the mud all day. Have you ever rolled in the mud? Sometimes you might can stamp in the mud and it feels good between your toes, all squishy. But sometimes, instead of rolling in the mud, maybe we could roll in the sand, or maybe we could go to the beach. I know some pigs who went to the beach on a big adventure and got a story as well. Not that one. Aha, this is the right one. Three little pigs go to the beach. This one's by, written by Amy S. Glansky and illustrated by Christine Gavinia. Let's open up the book to find out who published this book. Not on this page. Not on this page. Oh, down here, Moon Dance. And it starts off like this. This little piggy said, beach time. And this little piggy agreed. This little piggy packed a picnic lunch. And this little piggy bought something to read. And this little piggy cried, me, 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 me. I have what we need. They've got a lot to go to the beach with. And off they go. This little piggy built a castle. And this little piggy built a moat. This little piggy added towers. And this little piggy made a boat. And this little piggy went, wee, 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 hey, watch it float. Looking pretty good. This little piggy threw a beach ball. And this little piggy bumped his snout. Oh, and this little piggy made a catch. And this little piggy made a gay shout. And this little piggy cried, wee, 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 oh, you better watch out. Uh oh, where's the ball going? Phew, just over the top. This little piggy shoveled more sand, and this little piggy piled it high. This little piggy built another tower, and this little piggy helped fight nearby. And this little piggy cried, see, 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 it scrapes the sky. Look how tall their sandcastle is. Oh, look how magnificent their sandcastle is. Everyone helped and made it look fabulous. This little piggy placed a flag and this little piggy grabbed a phone. This little piggy bought ice cream and this little piggy licked a cone. And then these little piggies laughed of fun you can have when you go down to the beach. Maybe the next time you go to the beach and can build a sand castle you'll think about those 10 little pigs and all the things they did to help. If you like those stories you can always request them. We've got lots of books here in the library that you can request. You contact Cambridge Library and find out how you can reserve a book. We can give you some extra books as well. We've got lots of brand new ones and we can give them to you so there'll be a surprise when you open up your bag. Contact the library. I'll be listening for more stories and baby round times. See you next time.